Hi guys, today for your CLC cooking class, um, we're going to be making an Italian sausage linguine. Um, we are going to just make a basic, simple veggie sauce with some cream and some chicken stock, and uh, it should be quick and tasty. So to start out, you could get all your vegetables ready. Um, so you have a red onion, you have some cherry tomatoes, a little garlic, some parsley, and then you have a green bell pepper and some zucchini. So you can go ahead and open all that up. Set that off to the side. All right, for your tomatoes, we're just gonna quarter them. So you're just gonna grab one at a time and you're just gonna cut it in half and then cut it in half again. All right, and then you can grab your zucchini and we're just gonna do a julienne on it if you just wanna cut the tip off and then get rid of that. You can go ahead and you can make it as wide as you want, as thin as you want. Um, we're just gonna give everything a nice sear, a little caramelization on it and then go from there. Then next you can grab your garlic and we're just going to do a fine chop on that. So I'm kind of basically julienning right now into little strips. And then I'm just going to put my hand on the top of my knife like this. And I'm just gonna never let this edge of the knife leave the cutting board and I'm gonna rock it back and forth over the garlic. We'll throw that in the bowl. And then this guy, your red onion, you can cut the end off. And then inside there's the core here. We can pop that out once you cut both sides. That just gets a little wonky when you're trying to get nice julienne's. Um, and then you can just go ahead and slice up your onion. Break it up. And you can add about how much you like. I know some people don't really like that potent of onion. So if you wanted to save a little bit, you can, or you can go ahead and cook it all up. And then we have your green pepper. Um, so you can just easily slide your thumb in and just gently kind of bring that, the seeds back and out. And then I'm gonna cut it in half and that's gonna allow me easier access at the innards here that we wanna get rid of. So I'm just gonna kinda slice at those. Clean that out. All right, and then you can get rid of that. Once again, we're just going to julienne the bell pepper. And 
into nice thin strips about as wide as your onion. All right, and then we can get your pan on. So you wanna turn your heat on. And put that just a little under high. And we're gonna let your pan warm up. At that point, you can grab your olive oil and your salt and pepper and get that ready. And then over here, we have some Italian sausage. Um, it's the Italian sausage from Prairie Bay that we use in the chicken penne and on your pizzas and all that jazz. Um, we can put a link of the recipe for the sausage in on this page if you guys want it. Um, so just let us know. Um, so then we're going to bring that over here too. And your veggies. And then once your pan gets hot, you can go ahead and add some olive oil in there. Oh, which I did. We did send oil with. I just forgot about that. So you have a little cup of oil if you don't have any at home. And we're going to just let that warm up, coat the pan. And then you can go ahead and add your sausage in. If you want to grab a set of tongs, you can just kind of lightly break that up into the pan. You can leave it into pretty medium sized chunks. We're just going to let that brown for a little bit and then we're going to go ahead and add our veggies in. So while we're waiting for that to happen, we can chop up our parsley, um, which is going to go in at the end and be used as your garnish. So we're just going to pop the leaves off. Um, and then right now I can smell that the sausage is starting to brown a little bit. It's getting really aromatic in here. So I'm just going to give it a little stir. Making sure I get both sides nice and brown. If you don't have a tongs at home, spoons work really great too. Now that the sausage is kind of golden in spots, you can see where it's cooking, but it's still a little bit raw. I'm going to go ahead and drop all your veggies in. And then you can just give it a nice shake if you're comfortable. If you're not, go ahead and use your tongs or your spoon. Stir it back in. Right now I'm just kind of breaking them all up so everything cooks even.
And then you can be pretty generous with your salt and pepper here. And we're just going to put a nice layer in. A couple pinches. Everything's kind of nice and coated. Give it another toss. And then we're going to just let that cook. And then back here with your parsley, you can go ahead and just give it a real easy chop. No rhyme or reason, you don't have to be really particular with it. And you can just push that off to the side. Um, you can grab your noodles to get those ready for the next step. I'm just going to take the lid off and bring it over here. We did par blanch them for you guys because I'm sure most of you know how to cook noodles, so we figured it'd be an easier step. Um, and then you have your Parmesan, your chicken stock, your heavy whipping cream, and red pepper flake. And we're going to bring that over to the pan. Um, so normally at this stage, I would say use white wine, but we can't hand out white wine. Um, so we're just going to use the chicken stock to kind of help us to glaze. Um, so it's just, just a simple, let's pour that in. Adding another layer of salt and pepper. And then we're just going to let that kind of cook up going to help pull any of the flavor. This is a non-stick pan, so most of your flavor isn't going to sear to the bottom like it would usually. Um, so we're just going to let that simmer for a minute. You can see it's kind of bubbling around everything. It's going to reduce just a tiny bit, and then we're going to go ahead and add in our cream. And now you can see it's really bubbling around everything. And a lot of the water starting to evaporate up, so you know it's reducing nicely. You can feel free to put your cream in. And once again at this stage, add some salt and pepper. we're just going to mix that together. And now you can see the flavor from the tomatoes and the sausage and the peppers all kind of melting out into that cream sauce. And we're just going to let that simmer and bubble for a, a minute or so. And then you can go ahead and grab a pinch, not all of it, but most of your parsley, and sprinkle that in. Open up your Parmesan and your red pepper flake. And this is kind of as, as you wish how much heat you'd like to add. Sprinkle that in. And then you can add some of your Parmesan. You don't want to add all of it. If you add a little at a time, it'll blend into the sauce a little more as you stir. If you put too much in too fast, it can kind of just sink to the bottom and not want to marry with the heavy cream. Um, Parmesan is a great way to thicken a sauce without using a traditional roux which is uh, a butter and flour mixture, so it can make your food gluten-free. 
So I'm gonna add just a little bit more Parmesan in there. And then I'm gonna put my noodles in. Just kind of break them up over there. And then I'm gonna add some salt and pepper again. Some more of my Parmesan onto the noodles. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more chili flake. And then you can stir your noodles in. And we're just gonna let them heat up. And now that they're warm, we're going to go ahead and plate. So you can grab the bowl or the dish that you used if it'll fit earlier and just go ahead and use that. Or you can grab a new one. And then I'm kind of going noodle heavy first. And then all the goodies right on top. Just gonna take a little bit more Parmesan, garnish the top. If you want, go all out. And then the rest of the chopped parsley. And there you go. There's an Italian sausage linguine. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think Nick is gonna be back next week. So, uh, bye guys.